Go ahead with questions. I guess uh, bottom line thing that concerned you coming into the regional was whether you could score enough runs. You were efficient today, but still couldn't get over that ball. Just talk a little bit about that. Yeah, we still had some opportunities with uh, runners in scoring position. We made a few base running mistakes earlier in the game, too. And, you know, you forget about them sometimes when you get into an extra inning game. What happened early in the game that maybe cost you a run or two, but we probably needed to score another run or two early in that game to uh, not get to this situation. And, you know, the, the longer we played, it, it probably favored them versus us being, you know, being what we went through last week. I guess when you get, get the lead 4-2 there, bullpen's pretty well set up. Uh, yeah, we like their chances. You know, they haven't failed us very often. And I think I read a stat about Georgia had not come from behind, trailing in the eighth inning. I think they were one in twenty-six or something like that. Maybe I'm off a little bit. I apologize if I am, but they had not had too many comeback from behind uh, wins. And you know, Reese was Reese was the right match. You know, we got to give their credit to Farmer. He's a good player. He took an aggressive swing to it and you know, he handled it. So that, that's a big at bat, a big situation. He's a good player. Situation where obviously a ball off, that ball off Kurt's glove that could have ended the inning, but didn't uh, move things in baseball mean a big deal, don't you? Yeah, they do. You know, I mean, those were the kind of breaks that we were catching last week in the conference tournament. We just didn't catch too many breaks this weekend here. In this region, you know, a lot of close plays at first base that could have went either way. Like you mentioned, Kurt's ball, he thought he had it, you know, it was one hopper right back to him. He's a pretty athletic kid, you know, he's, a, he's actually a former shortstop in high school, you know, so. And then once he batted it down, I thought we still had a chance, but he kind of went after it nonchalant. And to their credit, that was a good runner, he beat it off. Well, I tell you, it's uh, it's as much fun as I think we've had in baseball in a while. Um, the seniors are just tremendous. I feel so bad for the seniors right now because they're they're hurting. They wanted to play again. They wanted to play again tonight, you know, and they will not have a chance to play again. So it's a tough day for them. It'll be a it'll be a couple tough days for them. But you know, we learned that that Creighton can play on this level, you know, and we came into this region playing against. A Pac-10 school, an SEC school, and we hung right with them. We played them toe to toe, and I think we, uh, I think we earned their respect of the two teams that we played here. And it's something to build on in the future. You know, it's hard to think about the future on a day like today, but I just can't stop thinking about the seniors and all the good that they did and how they put us in this position. They, they deserve the credit. You know, it's tough to win 45 games at Creighton University, so I can't say enough about uh, about our eight seniors. I get the situation. Yeah, just about everything you wanted out of Greg. Starting that game. Greg did a great job. He did a great job. I mean, if he just said, hey, he's going to hold him to two, going into sixth or seventh inning, I said, hey, we'll take that. And then some. You know, he did a tremendous job. He looked very good. He gave up a home run to a very good player. You know, Zach Cohn is a really good player. So Greg has nothing to be ashamed of by making a mistake to that kid. But real pleased with how Greg uh, responded. He gave us a chance. And that's all you can ask your starting pitcher to do. And I mean, he responded the last two, three times out for you this year. I'm real happy because he's a senior, you know, and this will probably be the last time Greg gets a chance to pitch. So at least he'll have he'll have some good memories of, of get, helping us get to this to this point. Ed, uh, I'm sorry to join you guys a little bit late, but uh, what about what you're thinking on the intentional walk uh, to get to Brandon? Well, we. He was a freshman. I'd rather go up and have a freshman hit in that situation. It gave our infielders a force out as well. Um, Brandon didn't look very good yesterday against, uh, against or Friday, I guess. What's today? Sunday, Friday when we played him. He didn't look as good. I just think anytime I got a chance to create a force out out here, anytime I have a chance to put a freshman in that situation versus a junior, um, we're going to go and we're going to lean it in that direction. So I, I like the matchup. You just got to give the kick credit. He had a good pitch. You know, I didn't notice. Off? I didn't notice that. Well, I didn't figure it. It just gives. It takes a lot of pressure off your infielders knowing that they have a force out situation. And again, when we look at matchups, you know, the first thing I look at, well, one of the things we look at is, you know, is this a freshman player in this kind of situation? And we thought we, you know, we thought we had a good pitching idea of how to get him out since we did a pretty good job on Friday. Thank you.
He deserves the credit. He did. That was a good at bat by him. You got it.